Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, we are now going to discuss. Okay, we are now going to discuss the week seven or the the week seven or the lesson eight, which is about the logical operator. Okay, so the lesson objective for today is that after completing this lesson, the student should be able to number one define the rows returned using the three logical condition: the and, the or, and the not. Identify the result when the order of precedence is applied in where clause. So we have three um, types of logical condition. We have the and, the or, and the not. So when you say and, okay, it returns true if both of the component conditions are true. So ito yung sinasabi natin class na if you, two have, if you have two condition, okay, um, both of the two conditions must be true or must be satisfied, okay, para ilabas niya yung output. Operator, it returns true if either of the component condition is true. So, for example, you have two different conditions. So, may isang true, may isang false, okay lang. Basta may isang true, okay, output niya. And then for the not, uh, for the not operator, okay, it returns true if the condition is false. Okay, tabalik tara naman. So, it's the opposite. Okay, so those are the end, the or, and the not. So, um, using the end operator, so if you are going to apply the end operator, okay, this, um, this is the syntax. So, this is a refresher um, topic for you. Both the component conditions must be true, true for n re record to be selected. Okay, select column name from, of course, call the table where column name, um, com um, then the operator, comparison operator, your string or condition here, and you put the end, okay, book is like, um, let's say it ends with letter A. Okay, so here, pinapakita na pwede natin paghaluin yung condition natin. Meron tayong like, meron tayong condition na, uh, let's say we are using the comparison operator. Okay? So, let's try this one. Okay, so, um, select asterisk from M where where job is equals to manager and E name like ends with letter E. Okay, then run. Okay, so yan po, pinapakita natin yung paggamit ng end operator and then pinaghalo natin yung condition, meron tayong comparison at saka gumamit tayo ng wildcard card like tayo. Okay? So, pinapakita na pwede nyo siyang pagsamahin. Thank you. So, moving forward, okay, is the OR operator. So, ito naman, it's the same syntax, okay? Pero ito naman, either of the condition must be satisfied. Kaya nga siya, OR. Tapos yung NOT, sige, balikan natin itong NOT. As i-run mo, okay, palitan mo lang siya ng OR. And then run. Ayan, so dumami na yung result natin kasi either of the condition must be satisfied. So ang una is that um, the job is equal to manager and then it should end with, uh, the E name should end with E. So since pare-pare silang manager, in-output siya kahit hindi E yung last, uh, sa E name, yung last na letter ng E name. Okay? So moving forward. So using the not operator, so it will reverse the value from true to false or false to true. The not operator can also be used with other SQL operators such as the between, the like, and the null. So select column names from authors, the name of the table where uh, your pub not in, okay, not in 2010, uh, 1995. So ibig sabihin, display lahat except for these values, okay? okay. Hmm. Depth number. Not as in 20 and 30. Sige nga. So, yan. So, ang, ang dinisplay natin, syempre, opposite, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng data i-display except doon sa 20 and 30. Kaya, ang nag-display na department number dito ay 10. 
Okay, so that's for the not. Okay, so the rules of precedence determine the order in which expressions are evaluated and calculated. The table in the slide lists the default order of precedence to override the default order of expression to be calculated first put parenthesis around the expression. So parenthesis, so doon gumagana na yung parenthesis. Uunahin mo yung naka, uh, naka parenthesis, okay? So the rules of um, precedence, we have the arithmetic operators, we have the um, concatenation operator, comparison operator, uh, condition. We have the is not, not like, not in. Okay, we also have not between, not equal to, not logical condition, and logical condition, and then the or logical condition. Okay, so for example, so rules of precedence natin. So we can um, select. And then now, if you will notice, this is the concatenation of the two columns. We concatenate the F name and the L name. And we put an alias. The alias is name. Call the columns from authors where this is your first condition. You use the OR operator. So call the column name again. You use the wild card, like. And L name, okay, another like. Okay, so it means that it starts yung AC number ends with S. Your L name starts with S. Okay? So, intention is that the AC no number end with a capital letter S and the L name start with the capital letter S. The second condition is that the type is CSIP. Therefore, the select statement reads as follows. Select the row if an author account number ends with letter S and the L name starts with letter S or the type is equal to CSIP. So, kung napansin nyo, medyo dumagigdami na yung conditions natin. O, mag-concatenate ka. Uh, ano ba i-concatenate natin? The, uh, employee name and then the job. Concatenate mo yung employee name and then yung job. Okay. Ted na kama, ano? Position is. Yan. Okay, go on. Yan. Para may space. Very good. Where? Where, uh, let's say, sandali ah, where, ano ba, depth number is equals to 30. Or, or, e-name, Like ends with letter N. Nanay. And Sandale. And Salary, ay hindi, hindi, pwede, hindi pwede, wag, 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 wag. And job. Starts with letter S naman. Okay, very good. Sige, run. Okay, so we want the two different columns, okay? And then after that, we put the condition na ang display niya ay yung ano, ang gagawin niya, yung may department number na 30. O kaya, yung employee name niya, nag -e end sa letter N. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, may Allen, saka sa employee name. Okay? At saka yung sa like how you, uh, you, you, you we follow the rules of precedence. Okay? Next! In this lesson, you should have learned the following. 
apply the logical condition, and then the identify the order of precedence. Okay, that's the end of our topic.